Hi, Pep. Hi. Um, could you just start by uh, talking about Rodri and the award that he won, best player in, well, best player in the world. It's for a defensive midfield player. That is quite a quite a feat. What can I say? So, for first, of course, congratulate him and him and all his family and dear friends. Uh, it's an incredible news for for him and, of course, for all of us. For all Manchester City, for our fans, we are so proud of him. Uh, I think it's the first time we could never imagine, uh, you know, years ago that uh, one player. Received this prestigious award that uh, we are so delighted to, you know, to be part of it, to share it with him. And, uh, and yes, uh, hopefully can give him this energy to recover well for next season. Be with us again. Um, Manchester City were well represented last night, but Real Madrid obviously had the second and third in the list, but they weren't represented. What, what do you think about that? It seems slightly odd in a team sport that you don't like. Nothing, nothing to say. If they want to they wanna go, it's fine. They don't want to go, it's fine as well. So they want to congratulate, it's fine. They don't want to do it, it's fine as well. So absolutely, Manchester City, we are not here to judge what the other clubs decide what they have to do. So. Uh, I would say for us, even last season, for example, that Erling won the treble, more than 50 goals. And uh, and I said to him, just being there is, you have to be so, so happy. And I think Rodri went there all the time. I said, if you are in the first two, three or four, it's exceptional. That means you have done an incredible year and you have to be so, so satisfied. So uh, last season Erling should have win, yes. Uh, Messi should have win like they won. Yes. So this at the end is not important. Important is that you know represent something daily in the world football because you personally, with your mates, with your your friends, your teammates have done something really, really, really nice, nice season. And after the people will believe that maybe should win this one. It's fine, you know. Should win Vinicius maybe. <laughs> You know, but there's 100 journalists, you know. It's not a, a group of people, elite people, that decide what they have to do. It's all around the world. It's not just one country, but it's all around the world. Around the world, you know, there are different opinions. That's why football is nice, no? Everyone talking that nice. I think, I think Rodri make an incredible speech. But I think I spoke about personal, the family, and of course, Man City, but especially the Spanish football. And I think it's... And I'm completely agree with him. I think Spanish football in the last decade make an incredible thing, but different national trainers with incredible players in the past with a winning the World Cup, the Euros Cup. So and never, never were able to, you know, to to win this award. And I think represent Rodri perfectly, of course, City, that we are so proud. But as well the Spanish football, you know, because Spanish football, the influence in the world football in the last 10, 15 years have been. Massively important, not just winning trophies, the way they play, and generations with the manager, generations with the players. And I think, you know, maybe in that time I remember one, three players from the academy from Barcelona, La Masia, we were nominated all three, you know, to win the Ballon d'Or. And Xavi Iniesta could not win because he was a monster there. And Messi, nobody could beat him. It's just Cristiano, you know, Cristiano was a monster, and the father of the monster is Messi. And both you know, have done something incredible in the last 20 years, I would say, 50, 20 years. And, and maybe in that moment, Xavi and yesterday deserve it as well. So I think, I think Rodri yesterday, you know, get what the Spanish football deserve for in the worldwide. Could I just ask you as well about Eric Ten Hag and the news from yesterday? You've obviously been in the same city as him for just over two years. You've clearly um, in the league, dominated Manchester United, but possibly his greatest day was against you. What was your thoughts when you you found out what happened? Well, I always I'm, I feel sorry for my managers. You know, lose his position, so I'm so sorry for him. I have a a good, I think, an incredible relation. I think he he represents Man United in the highest level in terms of behaviors and things. Of course. So our job, the manager, is the, one of the few jobs in, in all the jobs in the world that the people is expecting to be sacked. The people is expecting you don't have job. 
So I don't see architects or doctors or teachers or or anything that people desire to get out. <laughs> it only is, is us. So it's our job. We have to accept it. I wish him all the best, he and his family, and of course he's going to come back stronger. And he knows, I know, everybody knows that our job depends on the results, and the results are not good enough, so always we are in the birch that stay or be sacked. So. And I'm saying that, that I'm even myself, I'm not an exception. So if the results were not good, there is anything can can sustain it. How do you cope with that, Pep? Like your whole life is based on those results. I mean, we think back to the summer, don't we? Ten Hag, all the talk was if he didn't win the FA Cup final, he'd be sacked. He did, got a new contract, and then he, a game against West Ham, lots of missed chances, a VAR decision, and ultimately it cost him his job. Yeah. Well, if you decide to be manager or you understand that, the better don't do it. Decide to do another job. So a job, unfortunately, is simple as that. So you have to 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 get results. If you are because you are handsome or because you are in good speech or you are good relation with the hierarchies, or forget about it. I have incredible relation with my hierarchy, but if you don't get results, I didn't get results, I would not be here. It is a business. So and when you become a manager, you have to know it. So you will start from zero, but at a certain moment, you have to take results. Otherwise. Nobody, nobody can 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 keep it safe. It helps that you're handsome too, though, doesn't it? Sorry. It helps that you're handsome too. I was. <laughs> <laughs> can I ask you about when you were a player? Because obviously, I know you play different roles, but you played the same role in a team as as Rodri. Um, when you were playing uh, in some great teams with some great players, could you have imagined that a player in that position would be voted as the best player in the world? Yeah, why not? I've been central defenders. I won this award in the past. So normal is normal. Football, what is nice is the goals. Is the you know the people who win go who score goals and make an incredible talent actions. That that is normal. But you know the era from Cristiano and, and Messi. You know Messi Cristiano. You know have been unbelievable. You know how they share it, well deserve it, and they were another another level, another one. So and, and now is you know now really then everyone can can win it. So, and and at the end, the opinion the opinion is free, and that will happen when the people are allowed to vote. You know, you both have to accept the result. It's simple. Sometimes it's, you like it, sometimes you don't like it, but it doesn't matter. So tomorrow is another game, another season. Try to do it again. So sport is is like that. In sport, you lose more than 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 win. So and and teach you a lot that another chance is there to try it again. And can I finish by asking about Erling? Obviously, again, he's been voted as one of the best players in the world, and yet he chose to go and go to Sweden to see one of his boyhood friends go and win the title this week. What does it say about him as With a person? With boy, sorry? Friends? Yeah, he ah, okay. went to see Malmo win the, the Swedish league. Uh, okay. I just wonder, what does it say about him that he wants to go and be with one of his friends, sharing their success, obviously, at, when he's one of the best players in the world. He's got plenty of other things going on, like Premier League matches and Champions League matches. And that kind of well, thing. our scale is so tight. Uh, you know, Erling will be father soon with, uh, you know, his girlfriend Isabel. So, and we we'll have one or two days off that so the people decide. So, he won last season, and always sometimes I've been nominated. I went. Sometimes I'm not been. So sometimes I have games now tomorrow. So the schedule is so tight. So. Listen, the people is free to go and don't go. You don't gonna go, don't go. It's, uh, you have to explain the reason why Erling didn't go, why I didn't go, or the institutions didn't go. It's listen, it's, uh, no problem at all. So it's have a momo with a with a friend, decide to go there, and I'm pretty sure that Erling is really, really, really happy for Rodi. I don't have any doubts of that. Pep, uh, on. Rodri, do, do you feel part of it as well? Because you helped creating a system. Yeah, that of course. Makes Without him... me, he had no win. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Come on. Everybody says it's a sport. It's a sport. Food. It's, a, it's not individual. Even individual sports, like can see tennis players or golf players need the people. So of course, Rodri is not a stupid and knows that he needs this club, this organization for many things. He's 
made, you know, to to achieve it. Of course, he knows it, especially especially holding midfielder. But a contribution has done to the success we had not just last season with here with a, a Spain winning the Euros. So have been massive. Have been without him. So we are going to we are playing. We are going to play this season without the best player nominated, the best player of the world. So. The absence is really, really important, and 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 of course his contribution in our success have been, have been everybody knows it. Come on. And like I said, after Cristiano and Messi left Europe, uh, the criteria now it, there is way more um, open options. Yeah. Yeah. And amongst that, do you understand people that feel that Vinicius should have won that? Yeah, of course. Of course he deserves. Maybe if you should. Have win would be more than well deserved. Like last season when Erling he didn't win, and he was there, he was happy, and congratulate Leo and 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 Erling had to do okay. Let's go to try next season if if we can be there again. And I said Erling was I don't know four or five or six or seven. It's really good being on the four or five best players you know in the world. So that is magnificent. So. So yeah, but we'll be open now. Many, you know, normally the teams who are going too close to win titles will be, you know, more chance to uh, to to win. For example, Carlo Ancelotti. Like I congratulate deeply for for the big success for the the best manager of the world. But it was Gasperini with Atalanta that making incredible this club what he has done is amazing. Or. Luis de la Fuente, with the manager for the Spanish team, the incredible tournament has done, winning all the games against incredible tough. Do you think they didn't deserve it? Of course they deserve it. But people vote and decide for Carlo, it's well deserved. Yeah. So it's just, you know, this event has to be a joy, you know, to make the football a better business, you know, for the people there and, and accept the results like normality. Sometimes we win, sometimes we don't. Nothing happened, but only I can say on behalf of Man City because I am here, representing club. We are all delighted. We could not imagine, and we are so happy that Rodri, for the first time in this club, first players won this award, and and you know it's like Premier League, Champions League, like okay, the Ballon d'Or. So one player from Man City. We are so proud of that. We are really, really happy. And Spurs, how's the team looking like for for tomorrow? Yeah, well. Uh, Few players, but uh, yeah, we are going to try to to do good game to try to go through. Always happen. Last season we were out against Newcastle and we played really well. So perform well. This is what I want. No injuries, please. And uh, yeah, and go to the last week of the before international break in November. Embargo for Sanchez this evening, guys. Martin. Hi, Pat. You said that Rodri's the best player in the world now. That's sort of official, if you like. So you've got to manage without him this season. How, how do you think it's going? How do you think you've adapted without him? Oh, we are less strong. With him, we were better. And with Kevin, we were better. And with Kai Walker, we were better. And with Oscar and all the people now, for a long inches, we are better. But what I said, so now he has to recover well for the next season. and. We had to handle the team and game by game, so yeah, try to, to win games. Has it given you a bit of a, a new challenge to, to win without Rodri? Because he's been so important for you, hasn't he? The challenge is win tomorrow against the Spurs, play a good game, and the other one. So we will see at the end of the season what, what happened. So, so imagine any sports in basketball, Golden State Warriors play without Stephen Curry or. Uh, or, you know, Barcelona in his prime play without Messi. So we should have been different. We should be less strong. So it's the same with us. So Rodri is, is irreplaceable. We know it in the players, but we have to move on. You know, do it. And what can I say now that that Kova is playing there and Gund is playing there? They were exceptional. And one day we play Manu and we play John in that position. And I know they were playing good. So it was what we have to do. Hi, Pat. Obviously, you said. Eric Ten Hag will come back stronger from his experience at United. If he phoned you up and asked for some advice to help come, him come back stronger, if he wants to come in here and see how you operate, would you invite him in? Would you speak to him? Ten Hag come here? Yeah. To see us? Yeah. Anytime. No, I'm serious. So, I come many people and always we are open, but I think, I think he knows exactly what we do. I think it's not going to happen, but of course, I know his agent. 
a little bit, so the relation is there, so there's no problem for me, for us. Do managers often phone you for advice? Sorry? Do managers often phone you for advice? No advice, no. Just take a look. Managers they don't have to advise us. They know exactly everyone what they have to do. Because it's the reality in every club and every team and every player is completely different to the other ones. So the advice is to copy paste for the other one, it doesn't work. Pep, I think you're the longest serving manager in English football now. Uh, well, I think you were in the summer when Jurgen left. Um, does it surprise you that turnover of managers still? Does it, you know, you, I think there have been, we were working it out. United's next manager will be the sixth manager while you've been in Manchester. Does it surprise you that turnover and the fact that jobs are so precarious? Well, I'm surprised how, how long I've been here. Not for the other ones a short time. So, so yeah, nine years today is a lot. Yeah, that's true. So before England, maybe we were more patient with the managers than the other countries. But now the reality is uh, the pressure is in everywhere. The results have to be given and qualify for the Champions League is is a big for, for the club for many reasons, sportive uh, aspect, but economically as well. Yeah, I would say that, uh, yeah. What can I say? So I don't know. So what I said is that if I'm here nine years, because we won many, many times, and it's not 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 put a perspective on that for the way we playing or the other one. No, no, we won. If we won. That's why I'm I'm the longest one right now. Like we are, not just me. We are so proud of that. And can I just check on injuries? Are any of these players? I think you mentioned the other day maybe Grealish had a chance before the international. Break. I don't think so. No. And any date on Kevin yet? I don't think so. No, you, do, you, do you know when Kevin will be back at all? Have you got a date? I would like to tell you, especially I would like to know it, but uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know right now. Uh, he feels better in training, but go to the level that we need the competition. When kick the ball or something, he still have pain and he doesn't feel. And Kevin has to be, has to feel good, you know, to express. He's a huge talent that he has. Has that been more Kevin's injury been more complicated than you first thought? Yeah. Has it been? Yeah. You thought he'd be back quicker. Yeah. yeah. That's why I'm not a doctor. Michael. Sorry, just on that, Pep. Are you waiting for Kevin to tell you he's feeling better, or is it the doctor to tell you? No, he's feeling better, but not not the best. Like this, for sure. If these guys don't come back as quick as possible. We will struggle <laughs> because we cannot sustain for just 14, 50 players of the season. So we need the players come back. And but uh, yeah, it's what it is. So uh, hopefully that can happen in the after international break. And on that subject, you said on Saturday that you might ask a few youth players to come up for the match tomorrow. Are you a couple of days on? Do you have any more idea whether you might bring a few youth players? Down to London tomorrow? There is someone, yeah, but uh, we play against the Spurs. <laughs> uh, they are coming for defeat. I know what's happened mentally, the manager, the players, you know, playing against Man City, the last, sorry to tell you again, four Premier Leagues in a row winners. And uh, I know they will be the best. And that's why, you, you know, Carabao Cup, we won also four in a row. Always, I use the first rounds like they played the guys who didn't play in the, you know, maybe regularly. And when I rise semi-finals, and after I take seriously this, comp always I take seriously. But the company, okay, we're going to win it. But now we have a problem that uh, I have a lot of injured players, and I cannot take like I would imagine. Of course, I don't want to put that much, much pressure for the young, young players to be in this stage against this opponent for the way they play, and that's why I have to make a mix, you know, for the players for. Split minutes, half, 45 minutes, 45 minutes, start to say because we will arrive at um, 2 3 a.m. Wednesday night and Friday morning. I had to travel to Bournemouth. Bournemouth all week is out for the Carabao Cup and, and it's a really, really intense game. How the way they play, how good they are, and that's why I had to try to think about it a little bit, one eye on that. Because, and after Travel to Lisbon three days. The recovery will be so difficult this time, and that's why you have to take a look how the players come back today in the training session, how are fresh, and try to minimize the mistakes in the selection. 
Simon, Dave and Jens, please. Simon. Um, you mentioned the other week, Pep, about John Stones playing up front. Um, is that something no. you would... <laughs> <laughs> is that something you'd consider kind of off After the After nine the years, game? I'm not a funny guy, I know that. But some jokes, you have to get it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, and uh, of course can play a few minutes, you know, but yeah. as a striker from the beginning, I don't want to ruin his career. <laughs> um, I suppose with Erling can't play every game, um, who are your best options if he doesn't play? Uh, I don't have much, but some ideas I have. We'll see. We'll see tomorrow. Um, next week you play Sporting Lisbon in the Champions League. Their manager, Ruben Amarim, is heavily linked with Manchester United, could be in this city uh, at Manchester United by the time you, you play Sporting. W what do you know of him? And from your experience, you know, you had a, a, a time to adjust in your first season. How difficult is it and what's the biggest lesson to learn coming to England uh, for the first time in your, in your debut season, if you cast your mind back? All I can talk is about the experience I played twice against Ruben uh, sport is boy team one or two seasons ago and the passion was really really good I spoke with Mateos Nunes that he was uh, his player and I spoke highly about him and uh, look this season is unbeaten or winning all the games in the Portuguese league and the Champions League the same points with us so uh, highly manager so I had the feeling that he's Man United what I hear that is thinking about him is because he's a good manager. So Man United, no point managers at not that level. So all the managers I have in the five, six, seven years, we cannot say they are not able to 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 lead Man United. So what's going to happen? I don't know. And or if he has experience and what happened my experience here doesn't mean it works for the other ones. So everyone is everyone because manager is the team, the club, you know, the structures, the physios, the doctors that the players, there's many things. And what happened here, that doesn't mean it's going to happen in another place. Would it be too soon for a manager like him? Because he's had a very, very quick rise from you know, being a kind of unknown why, manager, if you like. Why so quick? Why well, is the problem? Years, I think seven years ago, he was doing his badges, and now he's you know, being touted for Manchester United. It's, yeah, it's I, I started my son with 37 years old, coming from fourth division. So knowledge is knowledge. If you are able, it doesn't matter. For that reason, Laminia Mal could not play football with 70 years old, right? So have to wait to 24. And there are players with 56 or 57, they are not able to be managers. So important is the talent if you are good. It doesn't matter the age. Right? Um, just going back to the first season again. Um, you talk, uh, you've been here nine years uh, now, we, it's a long time, and, but you've also said plenty of times that if the results are not there, then you will not keep the job. Was there at any point during your first season here in Manchester that you were fearing that mm, maybe now I can actually lose my job here? Never. I never had that feeling. But how did you live with the pressure then when the results uh, in the first season was like, uh, was like they were? I handled it good. After I won my first season with 37, the sex tuple with Barcelona, every year the people ask me to travel. When I sit in here, the people, all of you ask me, when are going to win the Champions League? You are here to win the Champions League. So we spent seven years to do it. So, so I know it. So it's not, I know because I'm dealing with, uh, with Chiki, with Ferran, or with the people there, and I knew that it was, they knew that perfectly that everything sometimes is quicker, needs time. And do it in two seasons is quicker. It's so, so quick to win the Premier League just in the second season. So sometimes you need. But I, I know one of the reasons why is I, I came here is because I know the people above of me, that the people are, you know, judge me if I, you continue, I suck you. We know each other quite well. I know it was a process and we analyzing, okay, we did many, because in the first season we did many, many good things. And the play way we play, we play really, really good. It was on a team like Chelsea for Antonio Conte, it was unstoppable. Play one game a week and it was, pff, we're a machine. So they, did, and they were better, but we learned from that. It's what I said before, sometimes you need, you know, lose and, and make the process to, you know, what is going on. The problem is that when you judge just exclusively for the results, the club just for that, they're in trouble. 
But sustain that the results, the idea is not the fundamental and the, the, the process is getting better and better and better and better and better. You, you, you are not judged for that. The clubs are unstable. And I, I never had that feeling. Maybe they thought it, but it never made me feel that they were thinking of that. Another issue was second, third season. In the second, third season, that's getting worse and not good, of course. I will not be here. Maybe I will be the first to say, guys, I'm not able to, to get results of the club. It's better to change the situation. So it's not much difficult than that. Ready? Thank you, Let's guys. Let's go.